I have spent months trying to track him down. Gran's wartime sweetheart. It will love at first sight, she said. Annie were a pilot. Gran didn't half know how to pick him. <laughs> they met at a dance in Hatfield Woodhouse. And her last words to me were, promise me you'll take flowers to his grave every year, lass. And I did promise. My sister, the one bright spark in the family, suggested a trip to the Doncaster archives. So I did. And the archive woman pulls out a drawer full of index cards, right? Did I have a name? She says. Busco. Eugene Busco, I say. And she pulls out a card from right at the front of the drawer. I think I found something, she says. Her lip was quivering. I can tell she's mesmerised. She walks over to this bookshelf, grabs this big black book, dusts it off, flicks through. Here! Here! she says. He was a Polish pilot. She notices the quizzical look on my face. One of the many countries that helped with the war efforts, she says. Oh, my heart is pounding. Did I really want to know what happened to Eugene? All them cosy nights I spent with Gran, talking about the laughter and the romance and all the good times. Despite the war, obviously. And all that was about to end. Based at RAF Lindome, went down in a Wellington bomber. She follows a finger further down the page. The flare path was lit. Again, she notices my expression. They used to light fires down the sides of the runway on foggy nights, she explains. Crash coming into land, either stalled or ran out of fuel. The genie is out of the bottle. I have no choice but to ask, so where is he buried? Newark Cemetery, the war grave section, buried 30th of September 1941. Newark it is then. I best go get some flowers and pay my respects. <laughs>